Hi guys, thanks for checking the video out. Steve Buzzer here, six hole challenge time. I am with my partner in crime, Megan Padua. Hey everyone. Megan, golf pro. She is on the camera and we're gonna do something very different today. So you may have heard of Vision 54. Megan, I tell you what, because yeah. you're actually close friends with the ladies at Vision 54, why don't you give us a quick little review of what it is? Yeah, what they do. All right, so Vision 54 is was created by Lynn Marriott and Pia Nilsson. They are two spectacular coaches. I think it's the number one golf school in the country. But anyways. Um, if it isn't, it what they do is brilliant. So maybe brilliant. if it isn't in numbers, it's it's up there in content, isn't it for sure? So they've coached a lot of tour players, including Annika Sorenstam, and their belief is that you could birdie every single hole if you give yourself the possibility and bring that possibility to life so they'll ask you like hey Steve have you birdied you know hole number one here no yes yeah I have, have I you have birdied I'm number joking. two have you birdied number three yes 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 what is stopping you from birdieing them all at the same time when you go out there and play so a lot of times it's how you yeah and I think they it. they cross the bridge between the technical elements of golf which can get quite constraining and they do a lot of mental work a lot of pre-shot routine, a lot of how you apply it, both on the course and practice. Yeah. So they do cool stuff. So we are using their cool app. Stuff. So we're using their app today where you can like, you can get these physical cards, but what we're doing today, each hole we're gonna take three of the categories and basically the app chooses what you have to do. Our fate is determined by the Our fate is determined the by button. the app. <laughs> Without further ado, Woo, here we go. Let's start practice. <laughs> so I have to. So this is cool. I have to, <laughs> it's cool. Uh -oh, You've got to you imagine get? this is quite tough for me because I'm a biomechanist. I like thinking. <laughs> I'm going to hit a draw with my eyes closed, listening to the silence in my own head. Oh, that's a good one. It's not. I tried to. I tried so, not to listen to that. We have it right now set on a ball flight that it's going to yeah, choose so, so we've chosen ball uh, so trajectory balance and play ball yeah so the eyes closed is something that's really going to heighten his balance and the play box is a term that vision 54 uses for you to something that you can commit to during your shot yeah so you decide and commit to that so we're thought. trying to decide out here play box is the doing isn't it yes so yeah. i'm gonna so back here he's in the think box so all the thinking he can take care of back here. So I'm closing my eyes, thinking of nothing. Oh goodness. Um, I would okay. zoom into that one, but... We've lost that ball. Well, you know what? How well did you commit to that process? I committed. Look what I did. Because this is about this is about being committed to what you want to do. So, on a scale of one to ten, how, how would you score that one? I think it was the best to start. But if you see where I've come through there, I am. I do feel like I'm standing too far away from the ball. With my yeah. eyes shut, that would kind of yeah. suggest that maybe. Well, I think the eyes shut is is great for. You have to have a perfect setup because you can't use your hand eye. Well, I so don't, and I was telling. listening to my little voice did, in the side that was telling me that did you, I don't. Did you listen to the voice? So anyway, the I silence, have no idea where that went. The silence in your head? Is silence your head empty anyways? The silence, the silence <laughs> is a killer. <laughs> Alright, let's see what I have here. So, Alright, so I'm zenning my Megan 54. So I have to hit a straight shot. So this is what you're looking at. See. On standing on my left foot and on the toes and say to the target with a soft and clear voice as I swing. So straight trajectory, left foot and on toes. So you'll see a lot of this stuff isn't the technical stuff that I imagine a lot of you are working on. You know what's fun is you can actually see some of the tour players doing this when they're out practicing. Yeah. Like you see Aria doing it on the range. <laughs> I bet Aria hits it better than that. 
<laughs> you know what I actually was having a, a hard time doing? It, it, it wasn't actually the balance as much as it was saying to the target. It was just a lot. <laughs> it was a lot right there. Uh, Poor Megan. level of commitment. Low level of commitment on Come that on. One. Megan 54. High level of effort, low level of commitment. Well, Let's uh, maybe <laughs> keep the video going. We should probably drop one in the fairway. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's about effort. It's about effort. And commitment. Perseverance. Um, yeah. I love this game. So we've dropped one in the fairway. We've decided as well, three was too much. <laughs> Which is, that's actually interesting because... You know how many times you think people have three like really high-end technical thoughts? Oh yeah. We had some point. three that were actually pretty easy to digest. Blew my head off. <laughs> so anyway, so we've gone down to two. I'm thinking right foot balance and I have to sing a song while swinging. Well, 145. I'm kind of curious what song you're going to be singing. And you can, you can sing it in your head unless you want to sing it out loud. This is YouTube, Megan. You think that's what people want? <laughs> Give them what they want. You should know what I'm going to sing. Oh, gosh. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. Oh, great. Up, buddy. I can't hear you. Oh my gosh, maybe you should do that. Maybe Go I ahead, should. give us the, give us the main line. Yeah, that, we went to see the Lion King yesterday, that's why I was... Um, <laughs> you go back me up, buddy, and then that's when you sing the line. <laughs> and can I tell you what's good about being tone deaf? No algorithm on YouTube is going to do me for copyright. Because that wording and tone has never been used before. <laughs> Alright, let's that see. That was kind of pretty, like, that was you good. would think that would be quite hard to do. I, I wouldn't be surprised if that one comes back out again, the singing, the <laughs> Lion King. Oh yeah, you're going to play from here. When pressure really is on. What do you got? Alright, I have to hit my feet together and I have to close your eyes and see the target in your head. Okay. So. Do you think that that means I have to hit it with my eyes closed? Or do you think that that means I just visualize it? It says, close your eyes. That's the clue, Megan. Yeah, but that could be... Close your eyes. I, that's fine. I can do it with my feet together, my eyes closed. Yeah. See the target inside your head. Oh, yeah. You are. I see what you mean. So you're saying it... Yeah, it could just be a process of... Do it and then hit it. I'll then reopen them. It's up to you, Megan. Up to you. Do as you so wish. Alright, I'm going to close... I'm going to see the target in my head in my think box. Okay. Not what the card said, but... Well, <laughs> I mean, my, my partner's on there. You do... You're on there, so I'll do it with my eyes closed. Well, we, we dropped it down in the fairway. It really doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. You can hit it in the water, I don't care. Hit it by the hole, I will care, because that would be a good shot. Oh, it felt good. No idea where it went. It went right. It's a hell of a strike. Where? <laughs> I'm really happy with that. Can't believe I even made contact. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> go, go for it, Mrs. I have no idea where go it went. Go for it, no Ms. Mrs. Green from 145 with... <laughs> by 60 yards. Ecstatic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Megan. Man. What are we going to do for you, eh? I'm so proud of myself right now. Thank you. Uh, woo! <laughs> 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 no, that's definitely your song. <laughs> right. It ain't my song. <laughs> sing a song. Sing a <laughs> no. song. No, but that was a good selection, though. <laughs> <laughs> Turn the camera off. Hey, that was a great shot that you hit in there. Thank you. I, pre I appreciate it. So, I wasn't going to do this on the greens, but people on the greens, usually that's when we're having the most crazy thoughts, isn't it? So, 
I'm going right foot and on toes, like this. Yeah. See the intended ball flight, or see the intended line. Okay, I like that a lot for putting. Going with the flow, Megan. A little windy for the old one foot. Well. Yeah, seriously. Just gonna see the intended line, Megan. Oh, not bad. All right. All right. Oh man. What's yours? <laughs> Barefooted <laughs> and feel the impact you want. Okay. So again, this still applies to putting. I'm not taking my socks off. My feet are way too white. Okay. I'll spare everyone that. Oh, it's going through aim point. Oh, if this goes in. This is the best way. I love I love feeling it barefoot. Why would Feel you know the impact you want? That's actually a pretty good one. Yeah. I've never had that one. Why what? It makes sense to aim point barefoot. Yeah. Maybe yeah. just slip your shoes off. I'm not sure how that how well that would go down. And uh, that's okay. Yeah, that, it's actually pretty good to do for putting. I think I like it. putting you would think, oh, just roll up and just hit yeah. your putt. But we all know that's not what golfers do. I think putting more so than anything. You, you ever played golf with someone that doesn't play? You know, like you get a, a, a non-playing yeah. and they go and they putt well and they, they don't think about it. They, like if you go to like crazy golf, they just have fun and they just hit putts and then we're like worried about path and face and all of this. <laughs> Maybe there's something to this, Megan. Yeah. I actually, I like that one. That was fun. I'm glad we're doing this. I'm putting. Hole yeah. number two. And we've changed it up. So the beautiful thing with this is there's loads of like different like aspects. We've gone creative shots and club selection. So we're on a par three. So I've got 182 yards and I've got to hit a punch shot with a seven iron. So not far off, but it's downwind. So I could, pr I could probably do this with I couldn't even do this with a nine, but I'm going. To, I'm doing it with a seven. Okay, so the right club would be a nine. I think with this. But you're going to just it, maybe an eight. Okay. But I'm. Uh, so we're going with the seven. Going for the low punch seven. Really gets you to think creatively, creatively, <laughs> creatively. <laughs> Something like that. What? I've got no glove. I'm feeling it, Megan. Yeah. Carving it in there. Oh. Great shot. I was going to struggle to stop that ball play, but that's, that was pretty good. So, Megan, go and click the button. What have you got? All right. Oh. That's 161 yards downwind over water. Par three, you're gonna hit a wedge. A wedge doing what? Left hand only. <laughs> <laughs> the left hand only wedge. Oh, so you got you got to remember these are designed. <clears throat> these are to make the driving range more interesting. Yeah. So we're probably not using this quite how it's intended. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't however, really matter. No. However, we've all wanted to see Megan hit the one-handed 161 yarder. So I'm going to have to go over here. Yeah. It would be quite cool actually to see, like the last hole we obviously were out of it off the tee. It would be interesting what you can score. Yeah. Especially with the next shot, because you don't know what you're going to get. Go on, let's see it. I'm, I'm trying to just go for the T marker over there, the, the one T. That makes a lot of sense. Get me a ball. Do you think I can do it? Yeah, let's see. Of course. 
you can't see. I'm not sure. I, I think if it was right hand, I could possibly. I don't think I can do it left hand. We'll try though. Yeah, but you know, I'm only finding brand new balls right now. Does it matter? Well, I said I'd do it, so no. <laughs> Ironically, I've just hit a ball that's not new. Do you want a. Oh, you have one new. Good with this. Here we go. Left hand only. 161. Over water. <laughs> oh, you're going for it over the water? With the pitching wedge? Love it. Steve 54. Steve 54. Fully committed. Think of the possibilities. The clubs are quite heavy. This could be the last of my he's, shoulder. He's totally for. Oh, okay. I thought he totally forgot to go left hand only. Nope. <laughs> Maybe you can get it up as far as mine. Go, ball, go. That's not what I visualized. <laughs> That was not your vision, 54. That's not what I saw in the think box. <laughs> the think box was, I'm going to hit this on the green and be a YouTube sensation. Oh man, that went so differently in his imagination. I think I could have done it right-handed, potentially. No, I'm not going to try. <laughs> it's your time to shine. What was your, uh, what was your draw there? Left hand only, the driver. Okay, so he has to do... Left hand only shot with your driver. Oh, that was a pretty good shot. <laughs> that was a great shot. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. Oh, nice try. Let's see if you can finish it out with your driver. There's no right way, Megan, just the right way for you. <laughs> I thought we had figured out the cure. Damn, damn flash face went flashing across the face of the hole. <laughs> we should have a mini golf competition with like some other club other than a putter. <laughs> we should we should go and do a video on there's a there's a really funny like crazy golf like a putt putt. Oh man, we have up a the road. Good one. I remember we went and played with my brother. Yeah, there's some fun ones here. I mean, we are in Florida. Some great mini golf out here. Good try. We get to our third okay. hole and we've changed it. So this time we're doing tempo and trajectory. So I've got a 80% tempo hitting a slide. Great. And now, some of the stuff we've done out here that you wouldn't really do on the course, these two you could do for a whole round. Absolutely. Because obviously you get that and then you go, well, what club am I going to use? How can I make a club work? What would you say your, your typical tempo is that you use? The driver? Uh, with, yeah, I mean, I guess uh, every single club would be a little different, but... Driver, I try and go 100%. Okay. I think people's biggest mistake with driver is they try and dial it down thinking that adds accuracy and I just don't believe it does. Kind of one of the topics I did my masters on but I just I, I almost feel like people are waiting for bad things to happen when they're trying to guide it. Plus when you try and hit it harder you um you pass energy through the system better. You know I think it helps your sequencing. But we've gone off track baby. <laughs> we've gone off track, Megan. <laughs> uh, maybe. Maybe. 80%. I don't have 80%. It's all or nothing. Yeah, that was definitely a nice little slice. That was really good. Like you said, this is a very doable task yeah, well, that's for on the course. Well. That would be interesting how far that's gone. You know, we'll be able to tell on the buggy. But that's, um, did that every time. Yeah, that was nice. Maybe I should be hitting 80% slices. <laughs> but really, I mean, I feel like people do practice only one tempo all the time. 
you know, if you go on the range and experiment a little bit, you can discover I, some I things. I think the thing is as well is um, tempo is subjective. So just because I say 100%, your 80% might feel real fast. You know, so it might be what you need. So, and it, it matches with personalities and all sorts of stuff. So we find doing stuff like this, yeah. If you find something that works, basically don't just change and do something else just because you feel like you should, you know, or you feel... The amount of times I hear people say, well, I, I used to do it like really well, but then I found out I was doing it wrong, so now I try and do it right. You're like, if it was working, <laughs> it was right. Words by Buzz. Word. So Megan has to hit a pull again at an 80% tempo. That's definitely outside of the box. I like draws. You like draws, but it I think I think this stuff could be really really help people. You oh know, the God, person yeah. that is adamant that that straight ball, you know, yeah. always getting perfect alignment is good. Kucha completely changed his performance he went from being a middle of the run player to extraordinary trying to hit a pull really yes he tries to aim right and pull it back on target can't remember his name of his coach what, what he, oh who's his coach i should know comment below if you know yeah, i don't know i know it's caddy but he's kind of a one planer but it's not um it's not jim hardy I can't remember. Sorry. I want to say Todd Anderson, but I don't believe it is. Coach. I should know. God, Steve. You were doing so well with all your wisdom. <laughs> Let yourself down in the details. 80% pull. Ah. Megan just hits her stock draw. No apps telling her what to do. <laughs> <laughs> that was 80% though. Uh, <laughs> face just does not want to come back. Oh, Megan. What's the definition of a pull exactly? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I failed. I failed. Megan, the ultimate insult. I'm adding one to your name. Megan55. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got all excited because I thought I was playing next. But Megan has drawn my golf game. High and a hundred percent plus. So you've got a hundred and twenty-nine. So I'm hitting a little less club since since I'm going You're going at it. Stevo power. So hundred percent high. Hundred plus. plus. Percent. What is that? So what club have you got? Go in extra gears. Put in the nine hydro power on this one. Hydro power. What's that called? Hydro boost. Hydro boost. Hi hyper boost. Car people. Yeah. The, car people. That, that little Tesla. Car, little Tesla car people. Button. Do you know? Do you know made up words? <laughs> <laughs> you look like a demographic that might like made-up words. Ooh, all right. Oh, you've given it a right tonk. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I like this hundred plus. I like that a lot. Good work. The booster. Good, good work, Megan. Thanks. I'm not sure if a hundred percent plus in high work or just making up words it make maybe making up words is the answer let's see let's see what your fate is let's see slice and you get to do a hundred percent hundred percent slice i think this app's telling me something and how far did that go uh that one off the tee was 302 yards 302 yards it's a little downwind but that's pretty that's pretty cool for a little yeah, 80 nice. 80 percent slider Wow. Everyone's so jealous right now of yeah. <laughs> your muscles. <Yeah. laughs> Steve, you know when you do that, like the muscles manifest? <laughs> oh no, I'm doing 100%. 100% slice. I've, I've got 
hate I know. Well, that's that's interesting. Yeah, it's silly, isn't it? I was gonna say it didn't tell you what club did. <laughs> Oh, man. Go You're going 100%. Let me just remind you, 100% slice. I'm going 50, 100%. Okay. And the likelihood is this isn't going to cut much. It's just going to go up. Is that why you were going with the 8? Because you could curve it more? Or? Ooh. Uh, yeah, so I was I was thinking oh, of... Oh, okay. But just hard to give it 100% with... Yeah, do you want to see it, Megan? Okay. Do you see what I was envisioning? Yeah, let's see it. Make it, make it happen. Little top tip. If you want to get it curving, probably clean your cliffs. <laughs> yeah, seriously. If you want, you can still sing The Lion King during this shot. Hakuna Matata. What a wonderful trip. Oh, not doing very well at showing off this evening, am I? <laughs> maybe, maybe we'll keep those to myself. Jeez, we're just talking about practice. Talking about practice. What you so this is actually an interesting one to finish off. What? This is an interesting one to finish off. To like not only get the line, then to aim further one way and pull it. You know, creates creates great awareness. Uh, pretty good. Very good. I, I was definitely happy with that because it's not like I necessarily try to pull my putts. Yeah. Good uh good par, good way to finish. And we've we've had a bit of a fun and a joke about that, but that app is designed more for the practice ground. So what um Pia and Lynn do, which I think is what makes their stuff so good, is it gets people away from just whacking ball after ball spending lots of hours on the range and not getting much out of it um actually that last hole we played i think that of all of the things we did some of the others were for the course maybe a little um it was a challenge yeah maybe it a little fun. it was uh, fun to kind of laugh at you when i could and then i got a couple of draws that were yeah. interesting yeah I, I think the two things i took away from that is some of the like my first tee shot eyes closed having to try and not think and try and hit a draw yes totally bamboozled me but there's so many people that have like five six seven technical swing thoughts yeah so it's like well actually we need we established early on you can't have too many thoughts what regardless of what they are we can't have too many thoughts yeah. second of all is this one is it really got you thinking about what you were doing like my tee shot i just hit one 300 yards trying to hit like a slicey 80 yard um doing that and then matching in the club if you're somebody that practices on their own course you'll notice megan keeps looking over there she's getting a little worried it's about to go bomb but if you if you're someone that plays on your own course all the time you have practice and maybe you play three times a week go and play in the evening using that app or using a similar app or just coming up with like 80% slice, 100% yeah. hook, highs, and it makes you play different shots. Definitely. And, yeah. the, and it's the different shots. And remember, you, you discover, get. You discovered new things about yourself. Like, oh, I, I didn't know that Steve hit it so well when he was singing. Maybe yeah. that's something that next Maybe. time you get nervous, you can sing. Maybe when I'm playing in the Masters next year and I'm, I'm going up 18 yeah. and I'm singing Uptown Girl. <laughs> anyway. Oh, but no, but seriously, you you get better in the bit of the struggle. Don't think you get better by hitting perfect shots. But like if you play on the evening, don't think, well, if I keep paring it all the time, I'll get better. It's just mixing it up. Well, plus, it's it's easy to transfer when you're already out here doing sure. these things. It's sure. easy. it's not like, oh, why am I doing it so well in the range yeah. and then I can't do it on the golf course. So thanks for playing, Megan. Thank you. Um, if you're interested in stuff 
that we've been talking about today um, here in Lynn Vision 54 have lots of books out. Yeah, they have great They have books. lots of content, lots of really cool stuff. So if you're the person that's maybe worked really hard on their technique and is struggling to apply, those would be the things I would be looking at. Look at the possibilities. Ha, ha, ha.